Right now, CTE is only able to be diagnosed after death by looking at the brain tissue by an expert neuropathologist who looks at the brain by putting special types of stains on very thin slices of the brain, and the stains will attach to the various proteins in, in the brain tissue. And if something is abnormal, then it will turn a different color. But the neuropathologist also looks at the what's called gross anatomy of the, the brain without having to look under a microscope, where they can just see where the brain is atrophied or not. If there's any major damage to parts of the brain, if specific parts of the brain are, um, are smaller than they're expected to be. But then to have a really clear diagnosis, the next step is the neuropathologist will take very thin slices of parts of the brain and put special stains on that that will um, turn a different color if there's an abnormality. And then look at that under a microscope. And they can see the different types of proteins that might have gone awry. And they can look at very specific areas of the brain to see where certain proteins might build up. And in the case of CTE, it is a unique disease neuropathologically from any other disease. This is all known from the landmark work that my colleague, Dr. Ann McKee, has done over the last several years, really defining the neuropathology of CTE. And what we know is that early on, the thing that makes CTE different from anything else is that this abnormal tau protein starts to build up in very specific parts of the brain and in specific ways. Early on, it builds up at the depths of the valleys of the, the cortex of the brain. If you think of the brain having those peaks and valleys around the outside, the valleys are called a, a sulcus. And right in the depths of that valley is where the tau starts to accumulate. And then in particular, it starts to accumulate around very small blood vessels. That's the beginning of it. And as the disease gets worse, that abnormal tau protein spreads and starts destroying other parts of the brain. And so the neuropathologist knows what to look for in terms of the different stages of the disease. But that's how it can be diagnosed now. That's it. It's diagnosed through an autopsy with a specific neuropathological examination of the brain.